Welcome to Chase Talks. My name is Chase, and today I'm bringing you three more Let's Learn VGC 2018 battles. Hopping straight into our first battle, still using our 2 beast 2 handle team. We're facing off against an Arcanine, a Pelipper, a Ludicolo, a Thunderous T, a Ferrothorn, and a definitely not Mega Gardevoir. Hmm. So he's definitely got a rain team. Uh, interesting that his rain sweeper is Ludicolo, and he doesn't have a Swampert or something. The sweeper, or even a Kingdra. I've seen a lot of Kingdra. Um, I definitely think a good lead is the Baneri. And I also really like Lady Arachne, because I'm kind of afraid of the ability from the lead Arcanine. Another good idea is to put my... Star Destroyer, I think, in the back because it's good against his Mega Gardevoir, but I'm kind of not sure about that. And I kind of want to put Phoenix in there because I'm really afraid of his Ferrothorn in the rain. That's going to be our team. He ends up leading Thunderous T, Mega Gardevoir, going straight for... Oh, and he gets the Water Bubble. That's interesting. Going straight for a non-rain option. So I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to Mega Evolve, and I'm going to Fake Out into the um, Gardevoir slot. And I'll just... Ooh, everything on my team is weak to this Thunderous. Uh, but you know what? I'm going to Poison Jab into the Gardevoir slot too. I'm just going to double into the Gardevoir slot. I can't die to one shot from Thunderous on my Lady Rachne. My Lady Rachne can take one hit from Thunderous for sure because I do have the Assault Vest. And this combo should be enough to just wipe out his Gardevoir right away pending a Protect. We see a Protect go off. We do not see a Protect. Oh, he's going to Gigavolt Havoc. That might be enough. Oh, we win it! Oh, Lady Arachne! Lady Arachne, you are a god. A G-A-W-D god. <laughs> you are just such a good Pokemon, Lady Arachne. There is nothing stopping you from being amazing. I'm going to go ahead and Protect here. Um, and liquidation into the Garchomp spot, but this should be enough to take out Lady Arachne here. So he's actually going to extreme speed. He gets a crit there. Don't think it mattered, and he ends up Vault Switching in to Bunny's Protect. Well, I'm just going to go straight for Phoenix. I think I'm going to go straight into Phoenix here. If I can get a priority Brave Bird off on something. Um... I can definitely double into the Thunderous here with a Priority Brave Bird, uh, Priority Brave Bird, like, Return. And I think that's what I'm going to do, is I'm going to go for a Return into Thunderous, and I'm going to go for a Brave Bird into the Thunderous. Well, I'm just going to double into Thunderous, try and take out Thunderous right now. If he goes for the Switch, I should be faster than Thunderous, right? So he does Extreme Speed. Ooh, and it gets rid of my ability to have the Priority. Oh, Brave Beard still goes off, though. I'm still faster, I guess. Um, return goes off. Is it going to be enough? Oh, it just misses out, and Vault Switch goes to my Phoenix. That is going to take out my Phoenix. Man, that Extreme Speed did so much damage. Oh, crit again! They decreased crit chances in Sun and Moon, and I got crit a second time by this thing? That's crazy. That is crazy that I got crit a second time. I'm going to go ahead and high jump kick into the... Um, I'm going to go ahead and high jump kick into the Arcanine, and I have nothing that can kill this Arcanine. I guess I'll just leech seed it. Dang, I can't believe I got crit twice. So I got fake out, and I actually do get a leech seed off into the Thunderous slot. Um, leech seed is going to be enough to take out that Thunderous, so he is going to recycle the Intimidate, which is unfortunate. Um, not a huge deal, though. I'm going to go ahead and high jump kick again into the Arcanine slot, and I'm going to leech seed into the Arcanine slot as well. So high jump kick goes off, that does minimal damage. Flare Blitz goes off into Bunny. So he's going to do a lot of damage. He is going to get seeded here. Skull goes off to me, no burn. So he is going to get leech seeded, so that's going to slowly whittle away his Arcanine. I'm going to go ahead and protect here to get more HP back from leech seed, so I can definitely live a double, uh, a Flare Blitz, and a Scald. This should actually, since I'm at 100 HP, I should definitely live this. I'm going to go ahead and, oh, uh, should I Thunder Blast, or Thunder Blast, Fire Flamethrower, or should I Heavy Slam into Ludicolo? I don't know how to do more damage. I think Heavy Slam is going to do more damage into Ludicolo, but I should lift two hits from this thing. I think, whoa, that just KOs me? 
What is this Arcanine? How is it doing that much damage? He gets two crits on his Arcanine? Wow. Wow, we just got data mining information that they decrease crit chance in Sun and Moon. I guarantee it's not the case in Showdown because I get crit twice. That is crazy. That is crazy. That hurts my heart. That hurts my heart getting crit by two extreme speeds and the second one 110% mattered. Because that second extreme speed did so much damage. It did a huge, it did 78% of my health. It nearly, it like killed me basically all on its own. That's crazy. It definitely mattered. Um, But yeah, so I'm going to cut till we're in our second battle of the day. I'm going to our second battle of the day. We're facing off somebody who can, that has three, four Pokemon, I mean. They have exactly four Pokemon. They're not playing games with a, oh, what team am I going to bring? They're going to bring these exact four Pokemon. And it's definitely a Trick Room team. Um, Togekiss, or Togekiss, uh, Togemaru as their fake outer, Mimikyu as their trick room setter, um, Snorlax as their sweeper, and uh, what's it called? Tapu Fini as another sweeping option. I'm going to just lead here. Do, 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 do. I'm going to lead Bunny. And now the trick is stopping it. So I think I'm going to lead Bunny, and I'm going to lead... Araquanid, because uh, then I can fake out and then I can double right into the Mimikyu and get rid of it. Uh, I think I have to bring Swole because, dang, I don't have any fighting stab though. Um, I think I'm going to just have to bring Star Destroyer and hope I can outstall the Snorlax. And then I got to bring Heliolisk for the Tapu Fini. So he actually leads Tapu Fini and Toga tomorrow. Okay, so that's not exact. That's not all what I thought was going to happen. Uh, so here I'm going to Mega Evolve, go for the Fake Out on Toga tomorrow. I should be faster than Toga tomorrow, so my Fake Out should go first. And I'm going to head and Poison Jab into the Tapu Fini slot. Uh, totally, totally able to predict my first turn, but um, despite the fact that it's obvious my Poison Jab is going to do a lot of damage to Tapu Fini, Tapu Fini is not going to want to take it. I am Max Attack Adamant. And this fake out is going to go out before it's Togedomaru, stopping everything that Togedomaru wants to do with its life. So we end up getting Muddied Water. That does a decent amount of damage. Um, and our accuracy drops. What? I didn't click on him! What? Why'd I poison jab into Togedomaru? I didn't click on Togedomaru. What? That's bull! That's BS! I'm so irritated right now. I did not click on Toga tomorrow. Wow. Oh, it was the accuracy drop. Oh, I didn't know what it said. It said it missed. Wow, that accuracy drop totally mattered. Immediately mattered. Wow. I'm super frustrated about that. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to... um. Return into Mimikyu to break its sash. I'm going to poison jab into the Mimikyu as well. That'll break its um thing. Uh, Muddy Water is going to go off. Um, it actually misses my bunny, so I get repaid on the hex. Uh, poison jab goes off, and we are going to see it set up the trick room, which is exactly what I thought we were going to do. Uh, I'm going to protect on bunny, and I'm going to go ahead and go for another poison jab on the Mimikyu, I think. Should I go for the Mimikyu or should I go for the Tapu Fini? I'm just going to go for Mimikyu because he is going to switch into Snorlax. Alright, I think that definitely the play here is to switch into Star Destroyer and Preserve Bunny. And to Poison Jab again into the Mimikyu slot. Because uh, Bunny is my only way. If I can take out Mimikyu, I take out his ability to... There we go. That's exactly what I was worried about. But I take out his ability to... Trick Room, once I get rid of it. That doesn't do much damage. I'm going to go ahead and Leech Seed into the Snorlax slot. And I'm going to... I'm going to Leech Seed the Snorlax. And I'm going to Poison Jab the Mimikyu. The Mimikyu protects. Uh, frustrations into the Star Destroyer. Wow, that does good damage. That does crazy good damage. That's crazy that that did that much damage to me. I'm going to protect, and I'm going to go for another Poison Jab on the Mimikyu. 
next turn I'll be able to, because he won't have Trick Room next turn, I'll be able to high jump kick the um, Snorlax. Uh, so I think he makes a little bit of a misplay there by... Oh, Mimikyu lives? Wow, Mimikyu lives there. Um... That's crazy that Mimikyu lived there. I'm going to go for a Heavy Slam into the Snorlax. And I'm going to go for a Poison Jab into the Mimikyu. That does no damage. That does so much damage, though. Alright, I'm going to Protect again, and I'm going to go for a Poison Jab on his Mimikyu. It's weird that he's not taking out Lady Rackney, and I think it's because he doesn't want a High Jump Kick. To go into his face. But I am whittling away at his um, Snorlax, which is good. So he did take out his Mimikyu. Um, he does recycle his fig Figgy Berry, which is so irritating. I can't eat That's so irritating that that's even a thing. Um, I have to protect again. Or how much is that doing? Because that frustration is doing how much to me? That frustration is doing 66% of my HP. I'm going to leave... I'm going to... Um, I got a Leech Seed into the Tapu Fini slot, and I got to go for a Poison Jab on Tapu Fini. Muddy Water goes off. That's definitely going to put me in range to die to the, um, Frustration. Ooh, and he actually kills Lady Arachne. That actually saved me there. Uh, so here I'm going to go into Bunny. I'm going to Protect. And I'm going to go straight for a high jump kick into Snorlax. I don't think Snorlax has Protect. And we don't see a Protect. And the high jump kick takes it out. Oh my gosh, we broke through that Snorlax. I didn't think we were going to break through that Snorlax. That's amazing. I am going to be able to take out his Tapu Fini next turn with Heliolisk. So Heliolisk is going to pick up our last kill of the game there. That was a misplay on his part, not going for Star Destroyer. I guess he thought that I might go for a double protect. I'm just going to click Heavy Slam and Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt is going to be enough. Of course, stay out top of any top of any HP. And we end up winning that game after that unfortunate miss that I thought was a missed target because I hate that when you miss, it goes to the left of the Pokemon because I thought it went into Mimikyu and it said it's not affected. It said miss. I meant that wrong. I overreacted to a misread. I was upset though, and I'm sure you guys would be too if you clicked a poison tag on a fairy and you thought it was going into the steel type that you definitely did not click on. Um, but yeah, I can't believe we won that game. I definitely didn't think we were going to win that game, so that's a very happy surprise. All right, I'm going to cut. We're 1 1 in the day. I'm going to cut to the third and final match of the day, and we're going to see if we can break this tie. How are we going to our third and final match of the day? We're facing off against kind of sand? Uh, three Tabus. Interesting. Uh, Tapu Fini, Tapu Coco, Tapu Bulu, Tyranitar, Heatran, and Tornadus I, not T. Interesting. Probably trying to get the priority um, on the Tailwind is why I would assume he's got Tornadus I. Um, I'm definitely going to lead Heliolisk. I think Heliolisk is just a solid lead. I um, definitely isn't going to have the ability to take it out before it gets Tailwind up. But I can match his Tailwind with Phoenix. I think that's what I'm going to... I'm really afraid of him getting up Tailwind and just sweeping me there. I think I'm going to lead that just in order to prevent that from happening. Um, I think I need Star Destroyer this match. Oh, man, I really don't like Bunny this match, but I really don't like Lady Rackney. I don't think this is the best team I can bring against this team. Uh, Lady Rackney, I think. So he does lead Tornadus. Okay, so that's exactly what I thought was going to happen. I'm going to go ahead and... Um, Thunderbolt into the Tornado slot, and I'm going to click Tailwind, because I'll also have priority Tailwind. So I'm going to match his Tailwind, and then I'm going to try and take out his Th Thunderous on this turn. That is the goal of this one turn. I don't care if I lose Helios to Tapu Bulu. The goal is just to get my Tailwind up, to match his Tailwind, and then kill his Tornadus. Then if I lose Helios, that's a good, that's an alright idea, but he might protect on his Tapu Bulu and assume... Instead of Tailwind, I am going to go for a Priority Brave Bird. I clicked what I wanted to do right away. My opponent is still thinking about it. Oh, no. I might have rushed into this move. That's okay. I'm just going to try. And I, I led this lead to counter Tornadus. I was worried about Tornadus. I led to Tornadus. I did my move. We do match Tailwinds. 
and I get the Thunderbolt off, and the Thunderbolt takes off the Tornadus, and we see a Leech Le Life on the top of Bulu, which does break my ability to use um, Priority Gale Wings, uh, Brave Bird. That's okay. I can still Brave Bird next turn. And I have the Thunderbolt. Let's see what he wants to lead. I don't notice two Pokemon are in the back yet. And we see a Tapu Koko. Tapu Koko. I think he's going to have Tapu Koko attack into my Phoenix slot. Um, I'm just going to go for a Thunderbolt on the Tapu Koko. My Thunderbolt is also powered up by Electric Terrain. Um, I don't think he's going to he's gonna see that coming. I'm going to Brave Bird into the Bulu. If I lose... Yeah, Thunderbolt into Koko for sure. I'm going to Brave Bird, I think, into Bulu. If I lose... Um, Phoenix, at this point in the game, I do not think that's a big deal. I have three Pokemon weak to Tapu Koko. Tapu Koko is really good against my team. But really, I just brought this thing to match the Tailwind, which I did. So I think this is going to actually be my best. So I do see it. That's exactly what I wanted him to do. With the Life Orb damage, is Thunderbolt going to be enough? Oh, just not enough. That sucks. Brick Break is going to go off. And ooh, Brick Break was really close. That almost killed my Pokemon. I am going to go into my Lady Arachne here. Lady Arachne can definitely live a hit. From this, from Tapu Koko, uh, I'm gonna Thunderbolt again into the Tapu Koko, and I'm actually gonna Poison Jab into the Tapu Bulu. Um, I'm gonna go for the KO on Tapu Bulu here. We actually see a Dazzling Gleam go off, and not a. Ooh, we see a Leech Seed. Um, the Leech Seed didn't work, or did it miss? I didn't see what happened with the Leech Seed. Uh, avoided the attack, so it didn't work. Wow, it lived. That is a bulky Tapu Bulu. That is a bulky Tapu Bulu. Uh, we're going to go ahead and Heavy Slam and Poison Jab. Um, I guess I could... I'm going to Protect, then I'm going to Poison Jab into the Tapu Koko. I think he's going to attack my um, Star Destroyer. I don't want him to take out my Star Destroyer. This Protect should be my best play here, because I think Tapu, Bulu, Tapu Koko is going to go for an attack on Lady Arachne. It, it shouldn't be able to kill Lady Arachne. Um, which we see that it isn't able to kill. I don't think. Oh, so we do see that. So I actually predict that perfectly. And we take out the top of Bulu. So that was a perfect predict on my part. Both our tail ones go down. That's okay. Uh, we actually see him reset the grassy terrain. I'm going to go ahead and go for a... Um, oof. I'm going to go for a flamethrower, I think, into the top of Bulu. And a liquidation into the heat train. I need to take out his heat train. And um, a heavy slam if I kill his top Bulu. So he does protect Wood Hammers into the Lady Rackney. But I live in the Wood Hammer actually KOs it. That was a huge play. That was a huge play. Living that was huge. Now am I faster? I got 62 speed. Ooh, this thing even at min speed outspeeds me. That's terrible. I'm going to go ahead and Leech Seed and Liquidation. Because this thing's just going to KO Lady Rackney. This thing's just going to KO Lady Ragni right away. I'm really worried about this turn. So he does flamethrower into Lady Ragni. That is enough to KO it. Oh, the Leech Seed misses! Oh my gosh, the Leech Seed misses. That's crazy. I gotta go for another Leech Seed. I can't believe the Leech Seed misses there. I guess my le his Leech Seed missed too. That sucks. That's huge that the Leech Seed missed. But how much do I do? I take 64% from that. I have to protect to live another hit. Flamethrower goes off. I'm gonna get Leech Seed Recovery. Um, and... Uh, recovery. I think I have to go for it. Yeah, I gotta definitely go for Heavy Slam here. So he flamethrowers into me. That's not gonna be enough to KO me. Uh, heavy Slam does no damage though. He's gonna get recovery from the Grassy Train. I'm totally gonna lose. That sucks. I'm just gonna try and hang in as much as I can. Um, he can't miss Flamethrower, so yeah, I think I'm gonna lose. He actually goes for a Bloom Doom there. That's interesting. Uh, but that Bloom Doom does no damage. I guess he was just trying to get a little bit of chip damage on me through Protect. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and Protect again. Because I can't live a Flamethrower. Protect does fail, so I am going to lose the game. We see the Skip to End button pop up because Showdown miscodes their game. That's okay, though. Uh, GG to my opponent. Um, I hate that it shows the Skip to the End. 
Uh, it's weird because most people just close when they lose anyway. Um, because no one says GG on Showdown. Because I mean, why would you? Why would you be like, oh man, I'm gonna be like cool and nice and like a healthy member of the community and say GG? No, I'm just gonna close out and hop into another battle. <laughs> um, oh, but GG to my opponent. We go one two on the day, which is super unfortunate. Um, I definitely don't know what I could have done better this game. Uh, I think that leading, having Bunny would have been in there. So, I predicted his lead perfectly. I matched his lead perfectly. The biggest problem was that I have a lot of things that are very weak to Tapu Koko. I don't think I handled that very well. Um, definitely, rather than bringing... I needed Lady Arachne. So, I guess rather than bringing Star Destroyer, I could have brought Bunny. I think that's really the only difference I could have made there, because then I would have had a better kind of Heatran. But if he would have just brought three fairies, then I would have not been in a good spot. Like, he could have totally, and I don't know why he didn't. Probably because of Heliosk. But he could have totally brought Tornadus Eye, Tapu Fini, Tapu Koko, Tapu Bulu, and been just really good against my team. My team's not super weak to fire. I do have good answers to fire, because I have an Arachne. I have my Lady Arachne. I have my Arachnid there. My Totem Arachnid is just super good. Um against uh his heat train uh the only reason that i ended up dying to heat train there i would have actually probably killed his heat train with the liquidation if he didn't protect that turn so that was also good predicting on my part on his part i mean um on my part i couldn't not liquidation there because i have the assault vest i'm not gonna outspeed um tapu coco so it would have made no sense to target the tapu coco with any move uh rather than the flamethrower that i already targeted with the best case scenario for me would have been if he would have attacked uh, Celesteel with a flamethrower, and he would have attacked Lady Arachne with a Thunderbolt, which is what I thought he was going to do. I thought he was going to target each of my Pokemon and kill them, but he was afraid that Araquanid was not going to die, clearly. But from his play, he was like, Araquanid's not going to die from this Thunderbolt. Because um, otherwise, he would have had no reason to not pr to protect there, if unless he didn't think it was going to happen. Um, because there's no way that my Raccoonid is going to outspeed his Tapu Koko. In no world does Raccoonid outspeed Tapu Koko. So, I guess that was just a good understanding on his point of probably from the Dazzling Glow image, damage, recognizing that I had to be Assault Vest at that point, and there was no way that his Thunderbolt was going to KO me, even in Electric Train. Uh, so, um, I think that was what hit. Wait, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. That was the... Oh, no, wait, that was the Bulu, I mean. I'm sorry, the Woodhammer. They knew the Woodhammer wasn't going to kill me um, just from being max HP. I don't think that any set of Araquanid would have died to that no matter what my item was. That didn't matter. So my didn't matter. I got it flipped with the Tapu Koko for some reason in my head. I had already killed the Tapu Koko. It was the Bulu coming in, attacking me with Woodhammer in grassy terrain. It was good on him to recognize that that, grass, that, that Woodhammer in no world was going to actually kill Lady Araquanid. Um, that was not going to kill Requin in any world, so recognizing that and playing accordingly to that is really what led to his win condition. Also, me listen, missing the Leech Seed was sucked, um, and it would have put me a play ahead on momentum because I would have been at max HP, and it would have put me in a good position for because um, I would have protected. It would have put me at like max HP uh, to take the first Flamethrower, then I could have protected again, gotten above half a health. Um, you put me above max HP to take the first flame. There were heavy slam that was doing no damage. Um, it just kind of put me at a better spot. But really, him being able to reset to the grassy terrain is what helped secure that. Because fighting the grassy terrain recovery, when literally it was recovering more damage than my heavy slam was doing, was putting me at a disadvantage. And I really needed Bonnie to stop that. Because that was really my only way to really stop this heat train. But yeah, so that's going to be it for this episode. Uh, thanks for watching. Remember to rate the video, comment the video, and subscribe so you never miss another episode of Heat Socks. Until next time, this is Chase. Signing off!